okay, in this final video, um, we're going to show you how to be able to get rid of the website that you created for this class so you can start building the website for your client. Um, the first thing you have to do, you have to do three different things. You have to, one, uninstall WordPress. Number two, delete your database. And three, delete your files. And that will remove all Trident Tennis from Freehostia. Then you would install uh, WordPress again, and now you'll have a fresh WordPress to start making your client website from. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Installer and Installed Applications. Okay, there's web, there's um, WordPress right there. So I'm just going to click the deep. I'm going to click the delete to get rid of it. I click on it. It says you're about to delete the files. Boom, it's gone. All right, but that's just a piece of it. The next thing we need to do is go into the databases and then MySQL. Okay, there's the MySQL database that holds all the information for my uh, Trident Tennis Center. I'll go ahead and delete that. And I'll click OK. That's gone. Next, I'm going to go into Files and File Manager. And then I'm going to go to my root directory. You can see I have a bunch of folders here. But I'm just going to click on this is my root directory where I have my WordPress. I'm going to double click. And it's empty. Okay, well, I'm not sure where my stuff is, but there should be a WordPress folder there. What happened to it? Well, there should be a WordPress folder there. So let's just assume that there is. I'll create one real quick. WordPress. Okay, well, there should have been a WordPress folder there. Uh, then I click on that once. I press delete with my finger. And now that folder and all, everything in it is gone. So my root. Be careful, though. Do not delete your root directory. Just re delete the WordPress folder inside it. So the three things we did: we went to my, the file manager, and deleted the WordPress folder. Went into databases, MySQL, and got rid of the MySQL databases. And went to installer, and then installed applications and got rid of WordPress. So now that it's all empty. Then I go back into Applications Installer. I tell I want to install a new version of WordPress. I will. I could use the same password if I wish, and I recommend that you do that. And then you give it the site title of your um, client. So say Sally's. Whoever your client is, that's what you'd put up there, and then install WordPress. Okay, then we can go ahead and visit the admin area. And then remember, you have to go through the whole thing we did last time, and that is get rid of uh, pages and stuff like that. But let's go ahead. Suppose I want to go ahead and create a page. Right now, I only have a sample page in there have a theme installed. But it doesn't make a difference. I can go ahead and create a new page anyway. One thing you can do is um, you can have all your content in a Word document so like I have here. So I told you to do it all in HTML, but if you wanted to, you could do it just like this and create your pages from Word, which I'm doing slightly different. All right, so say I'm going to create my home page. I'm going to go ahead and select this. Select this. Copy it. Go back wherever it is. And this is going to be my home page. And I'm going to make sure it's in visual. And then I'm going to paste it in. Okay, there's my, there's everything just the way I want it. Except it's not quite right. If I go into text, 
you can see that I've got some extra junk here. I got a spam. Actually, I'm sure what all that all that junk is. What I want to do is I want to get rid of that mess. Gosh, all that. <clears throat> Didn't do that in class just a second ago. Well, really what I want to do is I want to have an H1 tag here. And I want to have H, a close H1 tag here. Um, it doesn't bring over H1, H2. It usually makes it bold and all the, the colors and everything else. So I don't want to. I don't want to have that. I want to make sure that I have my tags correct. And now, if I go ahead and um, publish this, and I preview it, it should look pretty good. There you go. So there's Welcome to Sally's Hair Salon. Right now I have uh, two homes and a sample page, but that's okay. And then I'll go down to Customize. And I can build a whole site for you. Um, static Home Page. And I'll do Static Home Page. And I want my home page to be static. Okay, then I'll save that. I haven't even put a theme on here yet. So all I did was just to show you how to be, go ahead and get started on this. So then I'll go ahead and install a theme. But you can see how, how it looks now. And now I have the rest, the rest of the work that I have to do to get this website up and running. But I wanted to show you how to get started on it. Get rid of your old stuff. Come back in here and reset up everything as I did in the first lessons. So uh, for some of you, you've already done it several times because of the problems we've had with free Hostia. So I've created the first page. I'll go ahead and do a theme. I'll change my settings. I'll get everything all set up, and I'm ready to go ahead and publish. All right, that's it.